news stories during the year 2005 was the, the situation with Terry Shiloh, which uh, was a total three-ring media circus. Despite this entire three-ring media circus total fucking bullshit, there, there are some ethics that need to be considered here. Now, Terry Shiloh's parents are born-again Bible-thumping assholes whose sole purpose of wanting to keep her alive was because they are control freaks who, who knew that the, she was severely disabled and they wanted to use that to have power and control over her. But I need to look at some others, the other, other side of the issue because I have an open mind and just maybe those Bible-thumping assholes are right. It is possible that Terry Shiloh wanted to be kept alive, but she did bother to write a living will to, to mention what her true wishes were. I wanted to write a living will, so I decided I want to write a living will for myself, but I need to consult a lawyer, but I can't afford one because lawyers are a bunch of money growing scum fucks. Despite that, I have written a living will, and, and, and I'm going to read to you right now. There, are, there may come a time in which I will practice autoerotic asphyxia, and it could be botched, and something else might happen, causing me to be in a vegetative state. If that happens under no circumstances, shall a catheter, a catheter be inserted into my dick. I don't care if I end up pissing in the bed. And if I do piss in the bed, I want someone to jerk off and tell me that's sexy. If, if, that's, if that's too nasty to deal with, the least they need to do is hold my dick in, a, in, in, in front of a basket or something so... But better yet, hold my dick in front of a litter, cat's litter box, and, and it would be a good idea to use scoopable cat litter. With that, all you have to do is scoop out the balls of piss. Do whatever it takes, because they better not dare insert a cat litter in my dick. If they do, I will sue their fucking ass, and I would rather be dead than go through that fucking kind of fucking shit. My penis is to be used for pleasure, and, and no one is to harm it in any way. I am asking that someone stroke my penis with their hand on, my, on a daily basis until thick white stuff squirts out. If they want, they can put their mouth on it and suck it. I don't care if it's a man or a woman, just as long as they do it right. If it's a man and if he has a beard, I am asking him to shave it. I find the thought of a man touching my penis with his beard to be totally revolting. There are only two men in the world who I would have to get permission to suck my dick, but one of them can't do it anymore because he's dead. And those men are Fidel Castro and Osama bin Laden. I want, I want it to be a videotape while my cock is sucked, being sucked, and I want to, it to be televised on the 700 Club with Pat Robertson because he believes <laughs> because he believes in the sanctity of life. If my penis works and if I am capable of enjoying an orgasm, then I want to be kept alive. If my penis doesn't work, then fuck the sanctity of life. I want. I want to show this living will to an attorney, but I'm afraid they won't take me seriously. 